y'all. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Oh, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Okay. Y'all, just forgive me. Look, for today's dinner, I have a uh, chicken breast, green beans, a saute I made because, you know, I've been wanting some. And I'm just cow. Panda Express don't ever have it. And I got some cauliflower rice. And a drink. I got a bar watermelon. So what's going on, y'all? Let me say my grace right quick. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for my many blessings, Father. I thank you for the food that I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm looking like a wild woman today. I've been at home today, y'all. I had canceled my vacation day, right? I had reason to escape because y'all know we went to St. Louis this weekend. We got back yesterday. And y'all, I was broke down. And y'all... Y'all never believe this. I didn't do not one thing in St. Louis, but hang out. You got a chance to talk to my brother. Hang out at the hotel. I went out one time, but I felt so bad. I told my brother when he went to the Goodwill, I told him to go ahead and go to, you know, the food festival and everything without me. I took a pain pill for my knee. And I um I pretty much just kinda hung at the hotel, which was fine. So I basically had what my brother called a staycation away from home. And I got tickled at my brother because we were stationed at Scott Air Force Base. And my brother was saying, you know, we used to go to church near here. My dad was in the Air Force as well as being a minister. So I got kind of tickled because my brother, my dad used to always sing songs right before he preached. And at one point, he directed the choir. So my brother started saying, Just a closer walk with thee. And then I came in. I got took it. I said, just a closer walk with thee. Just a closer walk with thee. Grant it, Jesus, if you please. I don't hear those songs in the morning churches. I just thought about that. Do y'all sing those type songs still at churches? Do your churches sing hymnals? Y'all, when I was coming up singing and clowning at the table was something we couldn't do. But we always had family dinner. I think the big thing now is, even my daughter, she never was on the phone and stuff. We don't be on our phone after dinner and after eating. Even if we have dinner together, we don't be on our phone. So, the funny thing is, I think parents would love to have their children at a dinner table together and, and, and would enjoy some singing. It got me to thinking, though, about just old songs. And I heard Ricky Smiley do something on this, and I thought about that, too, when he was, when he was talking about it. You don't hear a lot of old songs in church. When I was a little girl, my grandmother, we called him a dear, but... At her church, they called her Mother, Mother Hutton. And Mother Hutton, or one of the other mothers on the work, uh, um, motherboard would always lead a, what call a Dr. Watt. And I just remember my grandmother used to lead. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. And you know, the congregation would come in and sing, I'm, I love, you know how you drag that out, and um, the lead singer would sing song, I don't know if they even do Dr. Watts now, probably something in the old missionary Baptist church, do y'all churches still do Dr. Watts, because most of these churches now have praise teams, you know, and they do the praise and worship. Well, 
when I was coming up, they did devotion. And Ricky Smiley, when I was watching this clip, he was like, he was like how churches used to end stuff. And I know when I was a little girl, I know it used to be, I can't even think of the words of it. If y'all know the words. But, until we meet again. That would be the end of every church service. And I went to this church in North Dakota off the base now. They used to always sing this song at the end of service. This is a song by Andre Crouch, I believe. How can I say thanks? For all the things you've done for me. Things so undeserved. Do y'all church service still end service with, you know, a song at the end of the church or y'all just let out? No benediction or nothing. It makes you think how maybe... Some traditional stuff should probably come back. You know, someone asked me, I have quite a few subjects people have asked me to talk about. But one in particular, this was recent, and I'm going to go ahead and speak on it. Someone asked me to speak on depression. Y'all you know, can honestly say, that I don't know a lot about depression, clinical depression, that is. I will say that I know it's very serious. And if you feel like you're going through depression, that you feel like all hope is gone and there's despair, I encourage you, first of all, to pray. But I know prayer is not going to necessarily fix this, that you may need some medical help. I, I encourage you to Seek that help. What I will tell you, there have been times in my life where I have truly been down. And I can say depressed, but I never felt like all hope is gone. Well, I take that back. One time I did feel like all hope was gone. I feel like I didn't have nobody in this world. But God. After I lost my son and he passed, I felt like I didn't have anybody. And I tell people all the time, I don't know how I made it through that. Because I was just existing. I really didn't care about my life. I didn't care what I did. I didn't care what happened to me. Um, but people prayed for me. Um, you know, I know that you might can have everything going for you in life and everything to live for. People that we see, what we look on the outside, the Bourdain guy, the chef that seemed like he had the world, he was able to travel the world and go here and there and other. Uh, he himself committed suicide and they felt like it was from depression. So... And I was reading an article recently about a minister who spoke against that. I mean, a minister who preached about that stuff. And he him also, himself, he committed suicide as well. And I don't know if you all watch LaGuardia Cross on here, but they share their story. And his wife is on medication and suffers from depression and there's been a couple of times in a couple of years I've been watching their videos that she's had to be hospitalized because he didn't think he felt like you know she was at that stage where she would do drastic harm in herself and she has spoke on that and I think them sharing that brought a lot of awareness to me about something that you don't necessarily understand. Even if you've been down in your life, we all have down times, but you've never been to that deep 
dark place of depression. I can say that, you know, I tend to, and it's easy to get down in life. It really is. It's easy to stay down in life. And that's why I always say, if you can, try to choose to be joyful intentionally. And y'all, the people that always uplift others, sometimes they don't ever have anybody to uplift them. And in their darkest moments, mm, I'm not going to join me. They truly don't feel like they have anyone they can talk to. So, and sometimes I feel like that. I mean, I don't feel to a point of the, the depression. I just feel like I'm the person that other people lean on and tell their problems to. But I don't really share a whole lot of myself and my problems. I don't feel like... I have that availability from others to share that side of me. And that may be my own self-thought. Where people would be there for you, they probably don't ever feel like I'm in a vulnerable state like that. You know? But, like I said, I don't want to undermine what depression is. And I think Prayer changes everything to me. But I know my prayer may not be your only answer. I don't want to undermine what clinical depression is and tell you and make light of it because I'm no doctor. You know, and what sends one person down into a deep depression may not do it for someone else. I will tell you, if you feel like you're experiencing this, your life is worth it. Your life is worth living. And keep on. Tomorrow is another day. It may be another down day. But as the days get added up, it will soon get better. This too shall pass. And if you can, even in, in your depressed state, choose to say, I'm going to find something positive in this day. I'm going to find something positive to be happy about. Is all I can tell you. I can tell you that I'm praying for you or your loved one. I don't know who you asked for. But please seek out the needed help for yourself or whomever. Because just seeing all the despair. Sorry about that, y'all. I got a call. Just seeing all the despair people go through. It's not worth it. And that's why I always tell you to be kind of the people and yourself, too. You know. Because your cruelty may be the difference in someone's day. And may drive them over the edge when they're already going through something in their life. It doesn't cost anything to be nice and gracious towards others. That was good, y'all. I don't think I had enough seasoning. It was good, though. It wasn't quite peppery enough. I need to work on the seasoning. But I'll make this again. Mm -hmm. Try to improve upon it. Because it definitely looks like I'm never going to get any from Panda Express. Anyway, thank y'all for joining me. I miss y'all for Sunday dinner. I hope y'all had something delicious. Y'all know I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And y'all have a great night. And I'll see you later on this week for another meal in a chat. Love you much. Good night. Bye.